Hello and welcome to Rotted Reviews, and today we're continuing on with the advent calendar of Christmas horror movies, and today I've made a choice. A little bit of a controversial one perhaps, but I have decided that today's selection will be the White Christmas episode of the Charlie Brooker series Black Mirror. There are people that will argue that this is not pure horror, that this falls more under the umbrella of sci-fi, and I would just argue right back that this contains some damned terrifying imagery. And further, there's going to be people arguing that this isn't a movie, and you know what? I don't really have the wherewithal to really dispute that. However, this is over an hour long with no commercial breaks, and is generally a fairly self-contained storyline, and I have done episodes such as this with the Into the Dark series that are about an hour and a half long each. We really blur the line with these, whether or not it's movie or TV show with streaming services being what they are. We're essentially talking about a contained storyline that exists beyond the 60 minute mark. So to the people that really want to argue that this isn't a movie, that this is a TV show, I just don't care. It doesn't seem to really matter a whole lot anymore. So after some hemming and hawing and after some soul searching, I have decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on doing a review of one of my favorite episodes of one of my favorite series, White Christmas of Black Mirror. So in this movie, we're opening up in a small little cabin out in the wintry countryside. And in this cabin are our two main characters, Matt Trent and Joe Potter, played by John Hamm and Rafe Spall, respectively. And it's Christmas Day! What a day to celebrate! Matt's putting on the airs with some tinsel and some garland and preparing a roast dinner. Meanwhile, he's just trying to get his co-worker in that cabin to talk a little bit. He establishes that they've been there for five years and the guy barely has said three sentences to him and he is aching for conversation. So what happens throughout the rest of the movie is basically them opening up to each other, telling their tale of how they wound up in this shit job out in the isolated countryside. What did you do wrong to wind up here? And the tales that each one tell follow a near futuristic level of technology meeting the most brutal aspects of humanity in a cold and visceral setting, which generally follows the theme of Black Mirror insofar as it tells a tale that rips your entire soul out. I heard somebody explain the title remarkably well insofar as once you finish watching an episode and you turn off the TV your soul having thoroughly been crushed, all you see is your own reflection staring back at you in existential crisis in that black mirror. And White Christmas is no exception. This episode, movie, whatever you want to call it, tore my soul out and it continually surprised me. As they're telling their stories, they're taking this near futuristic level of technology, which is fascinating and interesting and almost desirable in its own kind of odd twisted way and exposing it for the potential of humanity to corrupt it in such an interesting way that continually escalates the absolute horror of the story. One thing that Charlie Brooker did extraordinarily well is let humanity examine itself. In my estimation, humanity has been a species that has shown itself to be capable of some of the most caring and benevolent and selfless acts in the entire universe. And on the other hand, humanity has shown itself to be capable of some of the most vicious, selfish, destructive, and Machiavellian acts ever thought possible. And as we progress as a species, as we go from basic tools to mechanisms to industry to mass manufacturing to the electronic age, we only further our capabilities on both sides of that spectrum. Oftentimes, those technologies are developed with the intent and purpose of furthering our species. We develop the capability of having this interconnected system of cell phones, internet, networks, things like that, which is fantastic. We're capable of sharing knowledge and resources and media and books and all sorts of wisdom in lightning speed with one another, but that also carries with it that cost. We have situations of people using those networks to further misinformation that costs lives. We have situations where people People are using cell phones and social media to cyber bully people to the point of the most extreme acts of self-harm or harm against others. A lot of people will, especially in the wake of the most atrocious acts, point to technology and say, that's the culprit, that's the guilty one, it's the video games, it's the loud music, it's the easy access to information that shouldn't be disseminated. And I just gotta say that I think that technology 
isn't necessarily inherently evil. And the White Christmas episode of Black Mirror is taking a technology that doesn't exist yet and putting that under a magnifying glass saying, what if we took those best and worst elements of humanity, gave it those resources, what could possibly happen? And of course, in Black Mirror fashion, it often shows us some of the worst possible outcomes. But I think it's a fascinating fictional lens with which to look at humanity. Yes, we are capable of both sides of the spectrum. But if we have the capability of looking forward in a what-if scenario and treating it as a cautionary tale, as well as being entertained by it, well, that just seems like something that I can be on board for. On a technical level, I found this episode to be just masterful. The nonlinear storytelling breakdown of the story elements of these two guys relaying the elements of the past to lay the groundwork for what ultimately would come next was just wonderful. It allowed for a level of introduction and engagement with not just the characters, but also the technology to really make the storytelling rich and drive home that last punch so much harder. But I think for me, the real absolute standout of this magnificent episode was John Hamm. His character, by its very nature, needed to be energetic, needed to be engaging, and I think that he pulled that off remarkably well, in a way that just seems to come so naturally to John, and I was glued to the screen every time he was speaking. The more I think about this, the more I think that this episode fits the criteria of a horror Christmas movie. It's just such a gut punch, and it deals with such difficult topics and difficult characters and horrific events that I can't see it as anything but. So if you haven't seen any episode of Black Mirror, don't worry, this can work as a standalone. It's not tied on any storyline element in particular to anything else in the series, so you absolutely can one and done this without any prerequisite knowledge. And I do heartily recommend it. This has my full blanket recommendation that if you love horror movies and you love Christmas movies, you should absolutely check out the Black Mirror episode, White Christmas. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on my next review. Remember, next time you want to watch a horror movie, first make sure that it's good and rotted.